I think it would be a good discussion to have again as a team, like hearing the reasons why it would be beneficial for the student to be exempt from participating because in the event of an emergency, they have to know what to do to some degree. So I think it could be dangerous in a way if we aren't exposing them and they aren't prepared. However, for example, act, act for example, active shooter drills, I know there's a lot of kind of um, debate about it, if you will, amongst parents and like other things that could be done and should be done in school settings and campuses. And I know we, are, we don't have to get into that, but it's very controversial. It's like, well, why are we putting it on the students? Why are we, you know, setting this space up for our students to then be in fear when other things can be done? So I get that argument. And it could be, again, maybe if it's a student who has PTSD, I mean, maybe they've already experienced a real active shooting and then it's a whole different experience for them to relive it, right? To me, that would be a really unique circumstance in which I can see, okay, reliving this and redoing this may be really triggering. So maybe they need to have some intensive individualized like educational counseling written into their IEP. And again, a goal specific to this, like let's process that because God forbid, again, it happens again. Like we need to make sure that the students are prepared and they know how to keep themselves safe. Um, so I think it would be a really you know, good point of discussion for the team and really coming to an agreement of how can we still keep the students safe because we can't predict emergencies while obviously respecting their needs and, and what they're bringing to the table, right? Because every student's different. 